for obvious reasons, you can't give us too many details, and I think all of our viewers understand that. But broadly, how does the truce impact your military strategy? Well, it's actually a good time for us to take stock of what we've done so far, to assess our accomplishments, our uh, weaknesses, our strengths, to see and assess and share knowledge between different units that have been fighting Hamas units on, on and underground, and to think of new and better ways to implement our mission while exposing our troops to less danger and while uh, exposing civilians to less adverse effects. So we're making good use of the time as well. If all of, most people are concerned with what Hamas is using their time for, we're using it for good things as well. There is an expectation that fighting is set to extend into South Gaza once that truce ends. For weeks, as we know, you've been urging people to move from northern Gaza into the south for safety. Surely an extension of the fighting into the south would lead to a, a huge spike in the civilian death toll. We would definitely want to avoid any spike in civilian death, and we are operating on the ground in order to mitigate that. And before any major combat steps are taken, then we will do everything possible and physically feasible within the constraints of the Gaza Strip to have civilians out of harm's way. Uh, that is a very important goal for us. We understand the sensitivity. They are not our enemy, the civilians. Hamas is. And I think that now Gazans understand very clearly what it is that Hamas is doing. Hamas is actively putting civilians between them and us. And I think now civilians in Gaza have seen what happened in northern Gaza. They, I think, will be more likely to listen and implement what we, what we will be asking them to do out of a concern for their own safety. And what is, is that that you're asking them to do? Because as we know, leaving Gaza is, is virtually impossible. So what advice are you giving those, I think it's 1.8 million people or so, who are stuck in South Gaza, who are now bracing for fighting to increase in that region after this truce expires? Yes, there's a humanitarian zone in the northern part, north of Khan Yunis in southern Gaza, uh, close to the coast. Uh, that is the designated area where uh, civilians should go to in order to be in the safest possible location in Gaza. And that is what we've been telling Gazans for quite some time. Unfortunately, not all of them were able to do so. Hamas kept a lot of the civilians in northern Gaza, and that is a direct result and, and as a result, a direct result, people were killed and injured, which is, of course, sad. And I hope that uh, I wish that wasn't the case, but it is. And in order to prevent that in the future, then Gazans need to make the smart decision to listen to our warnings, to go to the humanitarian zone, to find shelter there and to remain there until fighting is concluded. Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Conricus, appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me.